Hi guys, this is Vitech Pre-Sales Wiki. Welcome to our channel, Vitech. Do you have to place many IP cameras in more than one distance location? So, what's your solution? Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use DCPE point to multi point mode to connect with more than one IP camera. Now, please subscribe to our channel, Vitech. We love hearing your feedback and ideas. Please feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know what you'd like to see more of on our channel. Here we have a wireless long range transmitter. For short, it's called CPE. Its model is WI-CPE513-Kit. This is an outdoor wireless transmitter with IP65 watt proof. Radio frequency is 5 GHz. Wireless speed is 300 Mbps and long range is up to 5 km. Let's open it and see what's inside. We can see that all main components are in pairs. PLE adapter, hoop, Ethernet cable, CPE, and QIG. Now follow me to see more details about this product. As you can see, this device carries with IP65 waterproof enclosure on the side of the device are indicators of wireless signal, ports, and system. On the back panel, with a fixed trestle to install on the monitoring port and device information label. Last is port information, LED channel display, adjust the channel button, deep switch host and client, reset button, LAN and PLE WAN port. Above is the unboxing process of WI-CPE513-Kit. Next, let's look at how to configure it. This is a point-to-multi-point topology of the WI-CPE513-Kit. Now, we will follow this topology to demonstrate. Here, we are in front of the demonstration board. We define the CPE on the left as host and two CPEs on the right as client. All CPEs face each other without any obstacles. The CPE offers a plug-and-play connection, which means you can match the wireless frequency of this CPE to others by pressing a single button. There is no complicated configuration on your phone or computer, and I will show you later. Let's do the whole connection together from the beginning. First, we connect the PLE port to the left CPE WAN port as a power supply. And connect the LAN port of the NVR and PLE adapter. Put the deep switch to the host position of master CPE. It takes about one minute to start the system, so let's do this connection first. We connect the PLE port to the right CPE WAN port as a power supply. and connect the LAN port to the PLE splitter. Put the deep switch to the client position as slave CPE. We should use the PLE later due to the non-PLE IP camera. Now, the system startup is complete. First, we adjust the host CPE channel. Press the button for 3 seconds. The display channel will flash. Adjust the channel to H200.
Next, we adjust the client CPE channel. Press the button for 3 seconds. The display channel will flash. Adjust the channel to C200. Now, the whole setup is done. It's pretty simple. All CPE has finished pairing and videos have been displayed on the LCD screen. This is the demonstration of a complete surveillance project. We have explained how to configure our CPE. Next, I'm going to show two typical application scenarios of CPE. The first scenario is the point-to-point -point connection in the elevator monitoring solution. In this case, we only need to install a CPE at the bottom or top of the elevator shaft, and the other end of the CPE can be installed at the top or bottom of car to work with the elevator. No cable connection is required, which helps you save money. The next connection method is a comprehensive solution for point-to-point, point-to-multipoint, point, and at the same time a bridge connection. In the case of the temporary construction site, CPE can set up more monitoring points. WI-CPE513-Kit can be used in both CCTV and WLAN projects. Above is our content shell today. If you have any questions, feel free to click the subscribe button below and leave a comment. Meanwhile, welcome to contact us through email and website as below. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.